you. This very day, a new edition of Finnegan's Wake has been launched in Dublin Castle. And they went and spelt the word wrong. <laughs> James Joyce knew how to spell it, and they didn't even consult me. But this map shows the route I followed on the walk around Ireland. Why didn't I follow the coast? Because the mathematicians say it's impossible. It's infinitely long. It's a fractal. So I took it easy and just kind of followed a reasonable coastal route around. And that, we'll see, took me, oh my god, I'm tired after 13 years. Oh, 13 years, 100 miles per year, a quarter of a mile a day, half a kilometer a day if you really like the metric stuff. So there wasn't any rush. But what was it all about? Why would you do it? Well, there's a leprechaun sitting outside a cottage. There's a castle. There's lovely monasteries and rivers and trees and beautiful things everywhere. It's a fantastic country. It's a friendly place. It's a safe country. It's a wonderful place. I just about know the difference between a daisy and a dandelion. <laughs> During the walk, I studied this stuff and I learned 50 or 60 plants. I've forgotten them all again. <laughs> but, I, but I do know daisies and dandelions are not quite the same thing. And this is, I love the name, Igreta Garzetta, just like a stripper. <laughs> this is, what you, did I do it right? <laughs> this is the white heron, the, the little egret that has come into Ireland in the last 10 or 20 years. And the scientific heritage is fantastic. Mary Mulvihill's book is a treasure store. This is Hamilton's plaque. Um, if I had PowerPoint, I'd blow up the equation for you, but this is only PDF. So uh, that's Quaternions. That's on the Royal Canal. And the Royal Canal provides a terrific entrance into and through the city. No traffic fumes or hassle or noise. You can go right through the city and out the other side almost with the canal system. I discovered the weather isn't always brilliant in Ireland. The sky, look at the color. It's no wonder the people paint their houses luminous paint. <laughs> Try and get a bit of light. There's none coming down, so what can you do? But I mean, oh, I wasn't alone, even when I would no friends with me. <laughs> There's little shrines and holy wells everywhere. You're never on your own. The support is there. It's fantastic. And if that kind of conventional religion isn't your cup of tea, there are other alternatives. <laughs> There's the Republican Road up at the top of the left. That's it. That was found on a U-boat in Loch Foyle. When we saw the bottom left one, we thought, my God, have we gone astray? Have we <laughs> We're a bit off the route here. We spurred ourselves to patriotic zeal by reading from Tom Barry's Guerrilla Days to try and get retribution for 800 years, 800 years of Saxon oppression. So we were fired with zeal. A lot of things happened in the 10 or 12, 13 years. Y2K bug, Google, GPS, iPods, whatever they are. The Lewis foot and mouth. And you know something else too, they changed the currency on us. And Clare County Council took it very seriously. As you see. <laughs> they really, they really, you know, make sure you pay exactly. There's a, there's a mathematical joke at the bottom in yellow, but I'm not going to, no, no, that would lose the audience. Two famine ships were completed. That's the Jeannie Johnson up on the left, being built in Blennerville and then on the docks in Dublin, and the Dunbrody. There, the, both of them were built during the time, which is nice because we saw them in construction. Tunnels and rivers and bridges, beautiful things everywhere. That one uh, bottom right is a nice old railway bridge down near Ballinhasic in Cork, and you can walk through it if you have a torch. If you have no torch, you bump into the edge. But um, the railway systems go everywhere, and they're wonderful to walk on. Well, these ones are clear. Most of them are terribly overgrown. But they go everywhere, and there's nobody around, and they're cool to walk on. Really great. I love them. Here's the funniest one of all, the Lartigue Railway, and the Ireland's one and only monorail that used to run from... <laughs> Getting too technical, am I? <laughs> that uh, used to run from Listowel to Ballybunion. But you know, at the foundation of the state, there were 3,500 miles of railway in Ireland. Now there's about 1.5. So out there somewhere hiding in the bushes, there's 2,000 miles of railway. And it's a wonderful opportunity to build a big walkway around Ireland that we could all enjoy and attract visitors from abroad. Why not? It's a fantastic idea. Thank you.